Churches traditionally are landmark buildings, singular in form, providing orientation to the landscape. A new church in a new town, although small, would have to have some significance as a cultural building rather than a secular one. We were interested in creating a memorable, simple, modern building, white against the trees, maybe with a tower to suggest its churchiness. We looked at the liturgical demands of the programme and we quickly discovered that an altar for the Mass, a pulpit for preaching and a side altar for devotions added up to a large fixed size, whether it was for a very small church or a very big church. And then we discovered for the pitiful number of seats that we had, we were going to end up with a church that was all sanctuary. Very little space and very wide. So we had the idea of turning the side walls in like arms embracing. And that gave us a long processional axis. And when we put the entrance in and linked it to the presbytery, we got a sort of processional approach along the wall of the presbytery. Turn in, we got a glimpse of the cross at that point. Turn in and come in. The confessional here blocks your view. So you turn along, you see the font where people are baptised before they're brought into the church. And then you turn, go in, and you could see the cross on the back wall. And we thought that gave you time to adjust from the secular world outside to the sacred interior. We had a view that since the ritual of the Mass was the most important thing, by putting the altar in the tower and then extending the tower up so that we could get light in, overhead. People sitting in here had some light from the back, but they were looking at the dark side walls with this illuminated altar. We got interested in the idea that the building should be dynamic. Over the course of a day, the sun would move round, and that method of lighting animated the interior of the church, as well as focusing attention on the altar. We developed that idea over a number of the churches that we went on to build.